Hi guys, welcome back. Happy 2021 to all of you guys. This morning we're going to chat about uh, sorting out the space on your cradle. So many vehicles I've noticed on many Mark 1s. Um, as was with this vehicle, the front cradle was replaced and they put on a city golf cradle. With a city golf cradle you can see here it normally has little cutouts, little rectangular holes where the grill actually mounts on. The City Golf grill actually mounts on. If you look at it from the side, my fender is actually not on. On a old school golf, the cradle, the the fender actually slants in. On a City Golf, the fender slants out. So what happens is the grill sits up here and sits on the cradle. So those little rectangular uh, cutouts that I was talking about the grill, the grill actually slots into that that's your mounting point and what I've noted on many of the cars with the, the old school cars with those grills is that the gap here at the top is actually quite big I actually had the same issue here and uh, I actually could fit in masking tape which was about two centimeters that's how big my gap was here. Um, I actually initially thought that the cradle was mounted incorrectly. The cradle was mounted too low. And I looked at all of the mounting points and it was actually put on correctly. Um, so it's either that the this issue with the City Golf Cradle is slightly different from Mark 1 Old School Golf Cradle or the aftermarket cradle is the fitment is not correct. Um, so there were one of two things that I could do on this car. So let's look at the original cradle for the Mark 1. Here we go. This is the original cradle. You can see there is a bit of a gap here. Yeah? But it's not too bad. Um, so there's one of two things that I think you could do. Firstly, I think you could either cut the cradle along the bottom split it in half, move this portion up and then weld in a little filler piece here. Um, seeing as I don't have a TIG or MIG when you have arc welder, I had, didn't have the option so I couldn't think of what to do so in, eventually I came up with the idea of actually using fiberglass. Um, let me show you guys what I did, hold on. All right, so now we have the crayer, the grill removed. So what I actually did was, I used the original cradle and I fiberglass the top. I made a mold of it. And this is the actual mold that I made of fiberglass. As you can see, put that there. As you can see, that is the, the mold that I made. And then, I use that as a mold. I put cello tape along the inside here. I lay cello tape along the inside to act as, act as a release agent. And then I fiberglass the inside and I made an actual um, mold for the cradle. Then I took that mold and I mounted it on here. And as you can see, uh, the remnants of the fiberglass. Please make sure that you use enough fiberglass. I used about four layers, so it's absolutely strong. And then I, I, I ground this cradle down slightly where it joined and I mounted the fiberglass onto the metal. I folded it, filed it, and now I've painted it. And as you can see, it actually fits on snugly. Um, unfortunately, there are a few things you need to do. Front open. Unfortunately, these points here, it's actually this flat here. You need to grind these points down so the grill can actually come up. And on the grill itself, it actually has original mounting tabs here and there that you need to 
grind off as well. Those actually pop up here. The reason you need to do that is because your if you don't grind them out, you'll actually have your your grill sticking up here. So I'm gonna have to make special brackets for the grill to fit. Um, but the majority that should be easy. That shouldn't be an issue. I'll figure that out. And the last thing that you'll need to do is your original mounting spots for your your lights. The lights will now move up because your your grill is moving up so you'll need to make new holes for your lights um, I've noticed other some guys what they actually do is when you have a big big gap some guys actually drop the the bonnet down so you'll see it'll line up nicely along here but then if you look here you'll see a big gap and uh, your, your bonnet and fender won't line up so don't really like that um, the advantage of cutting your cradle and actually moving it up is that your original mounting points will still be intact and it will still look original from the top um, yeah as you can see this is not really the structural point the structural point is down here so you can get away with it um, so that's the issue I found with aftermarket cradles or the city cradles on the mark one i'm not sure if it's due to being an aftermarket product or if the original city golf cradle is the same hope this helped you guys and give you gave you some insight um so yeah guys uh, that's what i did um use it don't use it it's up to you uh, anyway thanks for watching please consider subscribing cheers guys till the next video